In metal additive manufacturing, there are several technologies in play. Some, such as selective laser sintering, fuse powdered metal material in a bed to build parts. Others use ultrasonic welding of foil sheet material. Direct metal deposition, which is what Kefertech uses, works with wire stock to lay a bead of solid metal, essentially building the part with a welding process. We stopped by Kefertech to check out their new machine that builds parts with unique five-axis motion and direct metal deposition. So this is our Kefertech ARC 405 series, so a small um, yeah, wire and arc printer. In general, it's basically a CNC system, so um, we have you know, two kind of standard technologies we connect uh, in this in this machine and um, this is CNC based five axis system so you got a turning and tilting table um, XYZ axis and um, yeah and then the the welding components like all standard components we put this together so we use solid wire um, it's basically welding wires so it's a, it's a big variety of, of um, materials available in the market and also a lot of knowledge which makes it very easy to Kind of include such a system in, in a normal working environment. We're really um, looking for um, big parts. It's kind of a high deposition rate process. So that means that we have with the wire and, uh, and the melting process, we create a lot of material or we can um, deposit a lot of material. Um, so that means we can print um, big parts very efficiently and also price-wise it makes sense to print this compared to powder uh, processes for example you would have a big chamber you need to fill with powder which is very expensive in this case um, printing a part um, from the wire is way cheaper and easier to do so we look into real big parts and that is basically our small machine uh, the big machine is probably double the size. Basically, if you, if you look at the parts we do, you will see this staircase situation you have in additive manufacturing quite well here because we have quite thick layers and um, so layer height is something between 1.5 1 and, 1 and 3.5 millimeters, thickness 4 millimeters up to whatever you want. Um, so it's, it's way probably way rougher than other processes you, you might know. That's why we need machining on, on majority of the phases afterwards. But we see it as um, a very, as it's a very fast process, it still makes sense to do this, uh, to create this part in two steps, uh, because you still save a lot of time, a lot of lead time in terms of reacting on design changes. A lot of time, if you look at such a part, machining it from a big blank material so it will still still be uh, less waste and less material to machine than conventional manufacturing. We see a lot of uh, applications for, for such technology. We say um, this is made for medium to yeah, low complexity parts. So, um, well, we're probably not talking about the small, really complex structures uh, which um, are done by, by um, powder bed, for example. Here we are really looking at bigger structures um, like those impellers, um, basically everything which uh, involves a lot of machining so and maybe expensive um, materials. So we work in aerospace applications for titanium, this, uh, stainless steel applications for those impellers. Um, we are working in tooling repairs of, of tools and dies and forms. So uh, this is all possible and that's why we also have these big machines. Um, on a big three axis system you can place up to three tons of part uh, 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 yeah, weight, so you can repair even large forms and do an additive repair on them and do multi-materials um, as we use wire it's easy to change material and, 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 and the wire stock so um, yeah it's possible to, to have a lot of different applications. We just try to kind of change the manufacturing method and that, that, that I think is is um, makes it easier to get to get you feed into this uh, AM door. Let's let's call it like this because basically a lot of engineers, you know, they are scared for you know a lot of people. I think that's normal that you're scared for for changing your working habits and things like that. And if you now have a small company, medium-sized company, they don't want to spend their time in developing new designs and new processes and everything like that. They want to earn money with with the product. So and that's basically our idea. Um, to make it as simple as possible and still give all the advantages of this additive uh, technology.